What is a man? Wow, that seems to be a topic of the day. What is a woman? What is a man? You know, I have some ideas uh, of what a man is since I have a penis. Uh, I have one, and uh, I, I think that's the starting point of a uh, of what is a man. Uh, when you come out, you are either a man or a woman, and that, that just goes into a whole bunch of... Uh, discussions on that because I think as you grow up being a man one thing that has been slowly stripped away uh, of manhood is uh, so many things in the periphery like little pieces of the pie or the pizza that make the whole and like bullying for example uh, now, now you have all these little fingertip warriors that uh, are, are bullies, whether they're men or women. Um, that's not being a man. Uh, and, or to see, like on the streets now, you can you see videos of this everywhere. You'll see these little soy boys pull out their phones and start videoing uh, a woman, you know, getting beat up or somebody stealing her purse or uh, to young kids fighting and everybody's just videoing it instead of stopping like that's not being a man not being able to defend yourself physically uh, to me is not being a man walking down the street and somebody assaulting jill and then me pulling out my phone and video and it going oh god this is horrible i can't wait to show this to the cops mm. <laughs> or post it on facebook <laughs> right look what happened to us yesterday yeah Oh, and then we get, you know, oh, I hope, I hope she's okay. Oh, prayers. You know, this virtue signaling crap. I think that is also not being a man. Virtue signaling crap. Uh, like mask wearers. I think mask wearers are not being a man. Uh, they're not questioning authority. They're not filtering out information for themselves. They are not thinkers. Uh, that is anti-man. Uh, yeah, and, and I agree, but you know, we we were talking taught when we were growing up that you know we get hurt, we fall down. Well, man up, you know, man up. Okay, what does that mean? Was man up mean? It means you have to be protective, a provider. You have to be that guy that's a little bit stronger to protect your girl, your person, you know, whoever it is that you want to be the big guy. Not not right. the big guy, but the the man that says, well, I need to go out and I need to go uh, kill a dinosaur and bring food back for my family and stuff like that. I need to be the protector. You know, if something happens, I need to jump in, not film it, and I'll take the bullet. You know, you, you got to be the man. Now, us discussing this, like we said earlier, what what is it to be a man? We can go down so many roads. I mean, like I said earlier, I know women that's more manly than, than I am, you know, but what does that mean? is they're the providers, protectors, the things like that. So. Yeah, there's a definite role with, uh, you know, there's a delicate balance in that um, men are made to procreate with women. And, you know, if, if you happen to be uh, gay, I mean, who cares? But the primary role of man is to reproduce our species with a woman. Uh, contrary to this uh, new belief system that's being promoted, men cannot have babies. I've uh, tried so much. Yeah, I've tried so often. <laughs> With ducks? <laughs> well, right. Time out. <laughs> so are we talking male to female, man to woman? Are we, we're talking about the role in well, life? Well, just, what, what is the definition of so, a man to you? I mean, for myself, I've gone and I've, I've been single for a long time and I've done both roles. I've been the provider for myself. I have been the safety for myself. I've, I grew up with four older brothers, so I could protect myself. <laughs> but you, when you're bringing two people into a relationship or two people together, I think that's where the definitions of the roles apply. So man and woman is to what you're defining. But so, what is it to you? So, well, so there's, there's the loyalty and then there's the provider and there's the protector on one side. And then there's the, 
I wouldn't say housekeeper because you do a better <laughs> job of that than I do. <laughs> you cook better than I do as well. But I go out and I make a living and I take care of everything. So you're not saying them uh, anyway. Yeah. Well, I, I don't. I don't think the the definitions of hey, your uh, women are naturally in most cases more feminine than a man. But there's nothing wrong with uh, to me the perspective perception of a man can still be manly and masculine if the couple inside of their relationship said, hey, I happen to be a doctor. I happen to do whatever that makes more money than you. Uh, and the man says, hey, I'd really like to stay home with my kids. I would like to uh, homeschool them. I'd like to make sure the yard's cut and the maintenance around the house is done and take care of the kids while you do that. There's nothing unmasculine about that. Not at all. Maintenance. <laughs> yeah, and, and that is the, uh, it doesn't have to necessarily be the role of the man, but men are in most cases naturally stronger than the woman. They can, uh, they happen to, in a lot of cases, I don't know about this younger generation, but you happen to know more about things. Mm -hmm. Like you, you know how to, you know, fix your wooden floor. You know how to, uh, patch holes and sheetrock. Yeah. You, you know how to do little simple things. Oh, we got a little small roof leak. I know how to get up there and fix it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Most women don't know those things and there's nothing wrong with not knowing those things. Uh, so to have the man do that is natural. Well, I think now the tables are kind of turning. You know, you got the guys doing TikTok dances and the girls <laughs> pick, fixing up houses and stuff, you know, flipping houses and going in and because they want to learn, they want to know. So I don't think that's the what is it to be a man? I don't think it's that part. I think it's the part where they're they're learning. They want to know and knowledge. Yes. When we were growing up back in the. No, uh, it was 70s. 1850s. <laughs> the 1900s. <laughs> we had the late 1900s. <laughs> but we had to do our own little thing. You know, we had, I mean, when we were growing up, the girls were playing with Barbies and kitchenettes and all that little stuff. The guys had motorcycles. It, and, and that doesn't define men. That was us being boys and growing up and learning the hard way. I mean, we got hurt so many times on stuff that we, you know, our dad no, would say, man up. Well, we should have died many times riding our dirt bikes through yeah. the woods full speed and you know, this is crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a difficult thing because the, the human condition, we're so limited by words. And so it to communicate what it is to be a man, I think it's to be masculine, uh, masculine without being toxic. Mm -hmm. To be, I am strong, whether you're physically... Uh, weaker or not, you're still emo you, you are striving all the time to be emotionally stable and strong. You you're not going to overpower with your strength a uh, conversation, and you you know when to to back off. And so those are it's a dance. It's right. a, it's a masculine dance, and you're. I think the well-rounded man is uh, to strive to always learn, strive to communicate clearly without getting upset and allowing, because um, uh, there are a lot of men and we most, all of us know these kind of guys, you know, you start talking to them or communicate, they either shut up, they shut down, or they get really aggravated because you said something that uh, they didn't particularly like. So they're like, oh, F you, you know, they're just, you know, they're done. Uh, I think the well-rounded man is to be able to listen, to talk and to communicate clearly and to be that, uh, to nurture that manly lion that's within most men. I think it was a, the perfect example was that uh, our Navy SEAL buddy uh, that was here. Uh, we were sitting over here on the couches and chairs and he said one of the, the, it levels the playing field whenever you know self-defense. Whenever you're really good at defending yourself, it allows you to be the really nice guy. And then you can get on whatever level you need to get on. If somebody's being uh, aggressive, rude, whatever, it, you know when to walk away and you know whenever there's a threat that you need to deal with because you're a man. That was really good um, I thought overview of being a man to go, I know when 
when to escalate. I know my limits. I know what I can and can't do. And I don't pretend. Mm -hmm. That is also part of being a, a man. Because, you know, you want to, how many times have we seen growing up, uh, especially when we're in high school and or in junior high, everybody thinks they're a little tough guy. Yeah, and all of a sudden the big guy gets you know knocked out by the little guy, or all of a sudden you know roles change because somebody was you know they manned up and and it's just an interesting dynamic the physicality of men and and what we have been doing to young people. I mean, they can't even get in a fist fight at school anymore without being expelled. Oh, you're horrible! Mm -hmm. uh, you're robbing these boys of, of the natural inclination to physically express themselves because there were countless fights in high school countless and after every single one of them the guys are friends that's how i met one of my best friends yeah got into a fight beat the shit out of each other best friends ever since yeah and, and, and that's what uh, most of these uh, soy boys and these uh Overly protective parents that oh god my boy he can't get in a fight oh put a helmet on him to ride his bicycle knee pads too you know I mean and that is just, that's insane but were they but were they being a man at that moment because you what you just defined as a man was that you know when to step back or you you know how to be calm and collected and to handle a situation, they were being immature and they and were it, being boys. The and boys. You, you, can, yeah. you cannot find maturity without making mistakes and without right, exploring sure. and without exploring that manly physicality. And by denying them their natural lion-esque sort of uh, nature, you're turning these or society is turning them into a bunch of soy boy. Uh, I'm offended by everything. Everything is disgusting to me. And these boys, all boys, go through this stage where they don't know their physical limits. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to act. And the only way to allow them to learn is let the two rams butt heads. And then what happens next? All of a sudden, they're friends. It's kind of like the same thing with the no guns in school. Uh, everybody, oh, they're going to fight. It's going to escalate. There's going to be school shootings. That's, that's crazy. When we were in school, everybody had gun racks. There were guns in every car. Everybody knew how to shoot. Yeah. Not one time ever did we ever think, oh, well, somebody's going to bust out my window, take my gun, and come into the school and shoot it up. Never, not one time, because everybody <laughs> was carrying. Ooh, how times have changed. <laughs> yeah. Just in a I mean, just now you're yeah. defining whether or not you grew up in the country or if you grew up in the city. Well, that's I mean, true that's, too. well, but it, these were all of our high schools. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, all around the country. Yeah, for sure. Except maybe in some bigger cities like New York or California. the heart of Dallas, especially California. Commie lovers. Uh, and the uh, so if you're from California, that offends you. See you later. <laughs> Good. <laughs> we live in Dallas. But, uh, I think when we define a man, we have to just say what what are the what what does it mean to be a uh, a good man? Because we know a man is the testosterone, the penis, the uh, X Y. Uh, yeah, the X Y. Yes, you know, there we, we go. There you, we go. You There's can't a, change the definition unless you take cannot. the COVID vax. <laughs> <laughs> so you know you, you have these physical attributes that are this is a fact you know you you are a man based on this biology there's no denying that and then so the next step is what makes a good man and it's it's be being kind being tolerant uh, being respectful of others until they did not you know unless they don't deserve it yeah. and then you don't have to be disrespectful unless you're kind of trapped you can just leave yeah Oh well, I think you were talking about, you know, you know, penis, all that stuff. That's a male. You like what? <laughs> I say what? Huh? Like, 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 what? What'd you say? Like, yeah, so, hit yeah. me later. Hit me later. <laughs> so, I mean, like you said, if you got a, you know, the testosterone, the penis, the, the nut tape, that's a male. What makes a man a man? You know, it, it, again, there's so many different things. Well, tell us. Them. I, I, there's so many words, so many things. I can't think. Jill, of. what do you look for in a man? What is? What are some of the <laughs> <laughs> look at the shirt. <laughs> I mean, but so it, you 
Kevin is your ideal man, what are some of his top traits? Oh my God. Well, for starters, y'all hit mm. the nail on the head <laughs> of the penis. <laughs> <laughs> When you talk I, about yeah. feeling safe, I mean, right. he is definitely strong and I know he can protect me if we were ever in any kind of altercation. Um, I lived alone for 15 years and I, you know, I bought a gun, I kept a gun at the house just in case to protect myself and the kids. Could I have used it? I don't know. Um, but I had to learn how to do manly things myself. I, I, but that doesn't make you a man. It doesn't make me a man, but I had to do mainly things like I rebuilt a section of my fence. I can change a doorbell. I can climb up a ladder and change light bulbs, whatever. I mean, things that you would depend on a man to do for you. But definitely the safety, the protector, the strong, um, loyal, honesty, communication. I mean, uh, keep going. I'm, I'm enjoying all this. <laughs> so. All of those things that I think anybody would look for in a partner, whether it's a man or a woman, regardless, but definitely the strong protection, being able to protect me. Well, and that's all I would say. A lot of those things I think women can do, like you did. You did them. That doesn't make you a man. And it doesn't, but I didn't have a choice. I had to learn how to that's do right. these things. So it's like, same thing for us as guys, you know, there's some things we have to learn how to do too. I mean, I'm, like make the bed, make the bed, <laughs> uh, cook the dinners. We have to do all that stuff, clean the dish. You know, I'm just saying that's, that's, <laughs> that's just so, I never but, learned, but it's not a, cars. well, I don't either. He does. Yeah, I love, I, can't change cars. The tire. <laughs> I love fixing cars and I know women that are so much better at it than I am. That doesn't make them a man. It makes them this knowledgeable and all kind of different things you know how to fix a doorbell awesome i don't know how to fix a doorbell i mean i could sit there and read and learn and do all this stuff but that doesn't make me more manly i think i think being a man is like you said being protective you know i don't want somebody that can protect me somebody bigger and stronger tougher that can protect me i want somebody that i could, I could have a conversation with that has the the masculinity to to show it and say everything how they feel I Which is a, that's a big deal, uh, being a man, being raised yes. to, to say, oh, I, I need <laughs> it's, it's masculine to be, you know, silent and tough and, and not. Uh, I think it's the total opposite. I think it's being weak whenever you can't discuss how you feel really? in, in a calm. You're putting Matt on the spot here. <laughs> oh, I don't like to show my feelings, man. Yeah, but see, that goes back. <laughs> I never knew that. <laughs> But Maybe I it's think, just between us. <laughs> I think boys are taught when they're little, stop that crying, stop that whining. You're not, yeah, you're well, not a man if man you up. cry. That's what they no. keep Men don't repeating. cry. They don't. And, and, and I it's think okay to cry. My dad. I'm about to cry now. <laughs> <Stop, y 'all. laughs> I feel like Stop. me growing up, my dad, we never hired anyone for anything. Had to re-shingle the roof. My dad did it. He showed us how to do it. I don't think he showed me. He showed my brothers. Uh, built the horse barn, everything, uh, bailed hay, anything in life that needed to be done on our farm, uh, running a business, everything. My dad said, this is how you do it. Change a tire. He always knew, made sure I knew how to do all these things. In fact, he told me when I was in high school, he said, I'm not worried about any guy breaking your heart. <laughs> you're going to, you're going to run them over because I know all these things. I know right. how to do it all. But does that make me happy being alone? No, because I want the sense of security. I want to know that if somebody breaks into my house and there's someone laying in bed with me that I'm safe and I can go and take all of the dogs because I don't have any kids and protect them and there's going to be a man there to, to go and protect us. I want someone else to change my tire. I don't want to do right. that. Um, so to feel secure and to feel safe and, and all of those things, you know, my dad showed me that growing up. I saw my dad cry one time and he never expressed his feelings. And to me, I agree with you, Kevin, that that's a sign of weakness. For sure. Yeah, you're, you're feeling vulnerable and fearful that being a man, you can't allow someone to see you not being right. strong. Strong. I'm, all I'm the time. strong. Yeah. Well, 
you can still be strong and and have a few tears. Like there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with saying, "Hey, this really disturbed me the other day. Can we talk this out? Can we talk through that? Mm -hmm. There's something just happened. We need a solution to this activity that's happening or, or whatever." That to me is being a well-rounded man, not being uh, clamming up and saying, you know, I'm a tough guy. I have this perception of myself as a man, and I don't want that perception of myself to be destroyed because by me sharing my thoughts and emotions puts me in a, in a vulnerable spot to change their perception of how I want them to perceive me. Look at me. Yeah, man. Well, so <laughs> being, a, being a woman, being a female, part of what women and females need, and, and the man is to reflect off that and to provide that because they're the provider, is to be able to, to know that you're wanted and to know that you're loved and to know these things. So reassurance. And, you know, so those are some of the things to where it, it's just, it, you're defining a man. Well, in order to define a man, you have to define a woman. Because that's right. You, you have that yin and yang. It's a, it is a it's an equal balance. So, so you know, sitting here listening to something you said, uh, wasn't paying attention. That's what's being a man. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. What's the saying? Good, good call. <laughs> <laughs> Behind every good man's a better woman. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Yes, that's true. That's, that's very true. true. That's true. Yeah. And, 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 and so I was going to say, I think the the definition of a man is a hunter, gatherer, protector. That's that's what I think. So we'll we'll go get everything we need we're, to we're make the, sure. Yeah, with the right chromosomes in the penis. Yeah, and yeah, I mean, I was just defining what a man is. Unless you're but a lion, you, you have but you just to do it. said. <laughs> the best thing ever behind every great man is a better woman for sure so when when i go to sarah's house you know i feel like i want to help i want to i want to do things i want to i want to do this for you i know you're overwhelmed you gotta work i'm off you let's go you know let me let me fix everything i can like my place we, we worked out there yesterday and i haven't gotten anything done i haven't done it because i didn't care it's just me out there right but she comes out and she goes all right what do we need to do what do we need to take care of what do we need to and i'm like well let's get it let's go mm -hmm. do this so she made me a better person, man, for just being there and, and saying stuff like that. But you're absolutely right. Behind every man is a better woman. Oh man, for sure. And and men Motivation. and men need that uh, the strength, also that feminine feminine strength of the woman that that fuels the uh, the drive of a man what no matter what their profession is no matter what their physical stature uh, a man needs a good honest woman to help keep them motivated to help keep them on track to help with all those emotional needs whether they admit it or not a lot of a lot of guys say, i don't need that i don't need a damn woman uh, you sure the hell you do. do. Yeah, yeah, you sure the hell do. do. And not just for physical release. I mean, you need it for an emotional... Uh... Well, I mean, there's ducks. Uh, yeah, yeah they're, and their little hands. True. <laughs> tiny, tiny hand tiny bodies. Tiny, tiny, little fiddle battle. <laughs> That's another, Inside joke. another story later. We'll get lot, to that we, one. we used to have a lot of ducks out here. <laughs> yeah, I think... Looking at my notes, I, I wrote down being rational because it seems like there's a, uh, you know, we've kind of heard it our whole life that men seem to be more logical than women. Women more, think more emotional. Yeah, women are just a uh, way more emotional. Uh, I don't know if that's necessarily true. I just think guys show their emotions differently. Mm -hmm. Well, I like to call it physical and mental. How so? She's mental. Oh. <laughs> now I'm more physical. <laughs> That's perfect. Because anyway, you're yeah. a man. <laughs> well, I'll give you that. <laughs> well, the, the whole definition of a man kind of can go off into our own view of what a man is or should be. And... To me, there's just, just a few pieces, and that's have some understanding, have some compassion, 
but also know you, you can, um, because you work on yourself, you work on your mind, you work on your body, uh, you're cre you, you live the best you can in some form of moderation where you, you, know, you don't overly eat, you don't overly drink, you don't overly do anything. You, you just try to be a balanced person the best you can, which that, you know, we all fall off of that all the time, but attempt to maintain a level of stability in all aspects of your life, to me, that is what uh, being a man is, or being a good person is. And, I, and also to be the emotional backbone of the equal sign. You know, like I, this one line is me being emotionally supportive and I need the other equal sign on top. You know, I, I got to have that. So th there's that perfect balance. You know, it just me by myself as a minus. I, I need the other one on top. So we're, it's, it's equal. That's a good analogy. Mm -hmm. it, 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 well, that's what I do. Let's that talk about <laughs> occupations. Do you think an occupation defines a man? Because nursing used to be primary, primarily a female job. Well, and in the past 15 years, men are flooding yeah. the nursing field. So... Funny you and say they're, nursing. they're just as great. I, I actually went to school for, for nursing in Tennessee. I that's why he was nurse. gay. <laughs> well, no, that's so, okay. It was either architect or nurse. I love to draw and design and do everything. But then you look, open the paper and there's like a sec, two people hiring architects from there's four full pages hiring RNs. And I was like, all right, I'm going to go to RN school. So I went there and there was 40 to one ratio. Well, yeah, I'm going up. So you did it for a logical reason. I, women. Because you're a man. <laughs> there were more women. And logically, yes. <laughs> and but. so, Jill, when you went into nursing, what were your thoughts behind it? Why did you decide to go into nursing? Matt said because it was logical. Well, there's oh, well, because that was just my calling. I mean, from a little bitty girl, I always wanted to be a nurse. I'm just always a caretaker. Yeah, so I just, I went into nursing because it was my true calling. I mean, I've always been a caretaker by nature. Because um, you wanted to help people. I wanted to help people. Almost the same reason I went into nursing. You wanted to help, you wanted to help totally the women. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to help the women get the Actually, All right, so here, the story goes is uh, I joined the Army, went into infantry. So I went from uh, infantry to uh, nursing. So I went from killing to healing. <laughs> well, like I said, the next. That's what I like to say. <laughs> so somehow I became a nurse, worked at a hospital, nursing home and stuff like that. A buddy had called and got me back into, not a really nurse, but a protective situation. With construction, I'm, I'm HSC, health, safety, environmental. And so I could still protect all the guys and get paid a whole lot more for it. You know, and that's what I right. liked. I get to travel all over the world and did all that. But no, I, I mean, I still have that caring feeling where I want to make sure everybody's okay, protected, and, you know, just, just all around okay. But does that mean me less of a man for going into nursing, trying to help people? I don't think so. That was my emotional, you know, masculinity coming out saying, I'm going to help you. I want to, I want to be a protector. I, I don't think there's, I agree with you. I think who cares if somebody wants to be a nurse or not, whatever their calling is, whether a female or male, but my personal preference, if I'm in the hospital and do I feel more comforted when I've been ill in the hospital with a man coming in or a woman, I would prefer the the other feminine energy coming the into the room. The delicacy of a woman taking yeah, care of Yeah, for sure. There's, oh. It's almost like that, uh, not a mother sort of feeling, but sort of, that you you like that, that feminine you know, if you're, you're, you're okay and you have that wonderful energy of of a woman's touch versus uh me giving you a I just got shot. I just got off uh, well, I just got back from infantry yeah I mean I, you would Here, let take me. this sponge wipe your ass with your broke hand <laughs> take, take this mask and wipe your ass <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah I, 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 there's nothing that defines uh a man better well, than what you just did. I mean, you were you were ballsy enough because uh, you're a man. You had big balls. You say I'm gonna break that uh, paradigm because at the time there were hardly no men as nurses. No. You're like, hey, yeah, uh, I'm I comfortable with expecting to graduate. I'm comfortable you know? with my masculinity. <laughs> yeah. 
to go do it. Yeah. Yes. I think we had three male nurses when I went to nursing school yeah. in our class. And that was 30 or 25 years ago. There was four of mine, two were gay. So there was the, the odds were totally for me. <laughs> it was a long time. Was a long time. I, went, I, went, I went to nursing school too. I would have never dated any of the guys. In my class, so don't worry. You know, timing is everything. It is. It, it really is. is. Oh, for sure. It really is. But uh, no, I think, like you said, the, the jobs define the main in the thing. I don't think so. You know, I mean, well, God. okay. Do you think there's a, any kind of occupation that you would look at a man and be like, who do you want a massage from? professional massage man or a woman i've had both i would prefer a woman why you would prefer i would prefer a why? woman because i just want the feminine energy what about you i've only had two or three massages in my life and it was oh, one true. was from a, wo okay. a woman yeah. you told me that yeah it was a chinese woman i wanted to take her home uh, oh, of course. happy ending no no happy <laughs> ending no but well well, what kind of man are you? Uh, it was, I mean, she was a short little, she, oh yeah, great massage. But the first one I ever had was from a, a guy and I did not like it. He was blind. You are let me, let me tell you this story real quick, real okay. quick. It's going to take it. So we go to hot springs, do all this stuff. There's a guy who wants to, you know, drive me off. And I'm like, no, I just feel I'm so uncomfortable and everything like that. So anyway, we go to these little <laughs> bathhouse showers. He scrubs me down with a loofah brush. And I'm like, I don't feel comfortable. I hate this. I, this is, I'm, I need a fucking drink, you know, stuff like that. He goes, <laughs> takes another shower. He drives me off. And I'm like, Oh God, no, please. No. So anyway, we go to the resting area and he goes, I'm still waiting on my masseuse. So it's like a long hallway and the guy comes out and I can tell the closer I get, he's blind. And I'm like, okay, so I could relax a little bit. Cause I, I mean, I'm, you know, he's not in great shape and you know, you're kind of, you know, yeah. you know what I mean? You know, so go down there and I can tell he's blind cause he's looking off and everything like that. So I said, okay, good. So I get lay on the table. Oh, fuck this. He's got to feel his way. <laughs> So he just slightly grazing my nuts. Oh, this and is I'm a man like, oh, I'm doing today. Man, flip over. God dang it. So Did man, he feel his way from the front oh, or he the did. back? He, well, he massaged my legs, thighs, sides. Oh, oh, there's my penis. Just, I just, mm. yeah, yeah I'm, I with you. I'm gonna go with a girl. Yeah, every time I would rather have a woman because it, uh, now, I would rather have a man because they're more powerful. Stronger, and they get for sure. in where I need it done. And because you're a woman and he's no, a man. That's but, why. Yeah, he gets it in and get it done. I'm not <laughs> talking <laughs> about <laughs> sexual, though. Happy well, ending. Well, it sounded pretty sexual. I will go to an Asian <laughs> massage parlor if I'm out of town and I need one like that. But in, sure. I've been touched where I should have been. But the best massage I've ever had was by a woman. And because... I know I prefer a man. Don't get me wrong. Ashley is great. Yeah, Ashley's great. I lay day spa. They they just the woman, I mean, <laughs> she was powerful. And so she was getting all the muscles and everything, but she also knew what I needed. Yeah. So it's well, that's why I like a woman too. <laughs> then, because you where you needed. Uh, you're a man. The most. You're a man. Well, I think we have defined for all of the world and, and marked time in this video now that everybody fully understands what it is to be a man and all the different aspects of that are possible to make up the pieces of a good man. And it only took 30 minutes. <laughs> Y'all are welcome, people. <laughs> uh -huh. If y'all are in the local area, come out and see us. Every Sunday at 1.30, uh, typically get started about 1.15. Uh, you can find us everywhere, BitChute, Rumble. Uh, about to be on a couple of those. I'll let you yep. know later. Only fans with tiny hands. <laughs> yeah, that, that was coming, coming soon. soon. <laughs> Told everybody. Done Thanks now. for joining us. We'll see you next time.